Hello everyone, my name is Rex and welcome back to the channel and to another Transmo 5 bonus video. Today we're on the West Coast Main Line South to try out the heavy traffic scenario which involves the Class 350. If you do enjoy today's video please leave a like and hit subscribe and click the notifications bell so that you never miss a video and feel free to comment down below your favourite Transmo route. Now let's get into the video. Okay so heavy traffic, let's get going. Let's see what this scenario is all about. A commuter service to St Albans Abbey is in need of a Class 350 and you're just a driver for the job. Deliver an empty coaching stock to the iconic Watford Junction station and watch out for the late night services on the busy main line. Okay. So, let's get ourselves going. We're at Milton Keynes Central and it is snowing. Lovely. We are driving an empty 4 car. So that's sounding good. Uh, for this one we don't really need to turn on the lights, so that's something we don't have to bother with. Um, make sure we turn that on. Okay, so we need to press the battery on. And then press the AC button. There we go. Set the pantograph to up. Put it to forward. And we'll just wait for the signal to change. Whilst we're doing that, we'll put the wipers to interval. Or actually, no, slow. Uh, we'll set the camera angles, even though we'll only set one today. Because we're in the dark, and to be fair, the camera angles in the dark are not really all that important. So obviously we saw that one leave just there and then. So we'll probably be stuck behind that one for a while. Really, we should have the DRS set, so set that. Fans have just come on as well. Okay, DRA needs to be turned off. I forgot I uh, had it on forward for the first point. Okay, so we're going to Tring. Going down the slow line, and we have a single amber. Let's get going. So we're kind of in the dark, so uh, let's see, do we have any cab lights? We should do. Um, I think they're behind me actually. There we go, here's some cab lights. We can see what we're doing now. Usually I drive with cab lights off, but if I have cab lights on, it looks better in the video. Much better. So I think the scenario mentioned that we've got a late running service in front of us. So that's why we're kind of stuck with these uh, single and double ambers. At the moment we've got a double amber, so we've got ourselves to about a third of line speed, which I think is about here. And we'll stay at this uh, constant for a while. Until we get a green, then we can go full throttle. Of course our GSMR radio doesn't have uh, a service head code, because this is a scenario. Uh, what else do we have? Windscreen heater on? Yeah, we'll put that on. Uh, cap equipment? Yeah, we'll put that on. 
So say for instance we didn't have the light on, we could have the cap equipment on, but we're going to put the, the light back on. It's another single amber, we're at the right speed. I think that's the part that was worrying me the most is that we'd be at the wrong speed and we'd be met with a red before we knew it. So we're driving through the snow. Let's have a look. Uh, train to go via location. Watford and Watford 10. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Gonna like this service. We've got a green. Perfect. We can step up to 75. Another 350 gone by. So because that's a double amber. Oh no, that's just stepped up to a green. That's good. If we stay at this speed. Um, for now, it should help. We have an expected arrival time of 21.28. We're 2106 now, so we're going to have to run to time. Which is important. Got another green there, that's fantastic. Might step it up a bit to 80. See if we can do that. Just don't want to be caught by a red, that's all. Which is looking like we will. Obviously we have a 40. There's the red, and that's just changed to an amber. Let's see if there's another 350 at train platform 5. I'm thinking there might be. Although I don't see one. Hmm. I just started over speeding there. Are we going to be uh, switching lines at some point? I'm just wondering. I know that's looking like a no for now. Right, that has stepped up to a green. And hopefully the next signal will do the same. We are supposed to be at Wembley. Or is it Watford? Watford, sorry. We are supposed to be at Watford in about 9 minutes and 40 seconds. So, let's hope we get there on time.
Yep, that signal has stepped up to another grain. Fantastic. We'll do another flyby shot. Oh, the equipment was in the way. Let's see if we can try again. There we go. That's much better. Right, we don't want to go any faster than 87 at the moment. We've got an 85. I think we're making good progress. I think. We certainly are 11 miles away from Watford though. So we'll have to close the gap on that soon. Okay, we can step up to a hundred now, providing that the signals permit. Yep, that one is. We seem to be uh, able to run between, I suppose, 80 and probably 95 miles an hour. So we'll try 95. See what that does. No, we still got green, so that's alright. Just one. At the moment. I wonder if the other locomotive's uh, target speed in front of us is 95. So that's probably why it's allowing us to run at 95. Yeah, it's looking like... Because I've noticed some AI trains on Train Sim World have a target speed of 5 mile an hour below the speed limit, so... You know, one of those things, I suppose. It's good to notice things like that, though. I think what we'll do is, is we'll see the station and we'll try and get a thumbnail there. That's a good idea. We'll find out what the station this one is as well. Let's just hope it doesn't set everything back to uh, default. It might do. No, no. Everything is uh, staying as normal. Well, that's alright then. So we can get this. Oh, we'll upload that. That's actually a really good shot. Um, and of course, yeah, that, that'll do. Um, so what station is this one? Uh, we're at Hemel Hempstead. So, oh, let's see if we can get some sort of like a A really 
arty kind of shot, you know, like a, an artistic impression what it would really look like coming through the station. Get that little bit up there, yeah. That'll work. And of course, um, that'll be about it. So you never know, one of those uh, pictures there might be the thumbnail for this video. You never know. We'll probably try and get one at Watford after the service finishes as well. If we can. Unfortunately, we didn't have time at uh, Milton Keynes because, well... Well, we did. We had like a minute or so, but it still wasn't long enough. Oh, I didn't realise there was a 90 section here. My bad. So we're going to get there on time. <laughs> Obviously, that excuse would not stick in the real world. We just want to let the speed drop now because we've got 75 at a platform. Just want to put in some minimal brake, about 15% will do. And we'll uh, jump to minimum brake. There we go, and. Uh, we're now at the desired speed that they want us to go through the station. Another... Oh, that's just stepped up to a green again. I think we're going to get to Watford Junction on time. I think the only problem is, is like switching ends and getting it up to this certain point. You know what I mean? That might be a problem. Just had a warning for 70 there. I think we were supposed to have a warning. I don't know. The AWS didn't go off, so it's one of those root knowledge ones where you got to remember that there's a 70 down here. Okay, so it seems like we're splitting off from the main line. Yeah, we will be. Then we'll be cleared for a 90 through the tunnel. I'll at least step up to the 90 so that we've got some more time to arrive at Watford. Right, let's get a move on. Then we'll have a 75 coming out the tunnel, and then a 90 again. Full set of greens now. That's brilliant. We'll cruise for the moment. And then we will bring this down to 75 about now on a 16% minimum break. Right, take that off. There's 75 just at now, just on the outside. We've got a 90, and then another 75, and then another 90. I would definitely go as far as to say that we need some brake now. Not too much. Oh, trees have just loaded back in. And everything else. Go 
We're on about 45 now. Oh, we're not stopping at the station. Okay. I know I've done this scenario before, but it's been a while since I've done it. So it says what for junction, but... Ah, uh, doesn't say what platform though, does it? Oh, we've got an Electro Star in the uh, background. It looks like the snow is just stopping. So we'll take the wipers off. About a minute late, but rather that than five minutes late. It's overly specific on where it wants us to stop, like. Okay, and we'll set the reverser to off and the master key. We'll put the driver reminder appliance on. We'll uh, turn this off, obviously. Turn all that off. Um, we'll want to turn off all the safeties on this side as well, because, well, nobody's going to be using this side now, are they? Not for a while. Just make sure everything's off. We'll just do a little overview. Uh, we didn't switch that off, so we have now. Uh, all there's left is the cab light. Right, let's get going. Obviously, the door sounds are a lot better. And they open a lot faster, too. Right, safety's in. Uh, cab light on. Right, we do need these on, so I don't know why that didn't become an option. Uh, thankfully we don't need the wipers, we'll put the windscreen heater on in, in case. And our next stop is Watford Junction. We've now got a 30. Can sort of see what's going on now because it stopped snowing. But ideally I'd like to be a 20 coming into a platform that's got an end. I think that's what we're going into. And like I said, if I get a chance I'll get a picture of us going into Watford. Yeah, this is uh, definitely that station. We're going about 15. I'd imagine it'd be a 15 round here anyways. Right, so now... We'll do one more photo more chat. This looks good. I'll uh, try and get this looking good as possible. We'll send that in. 
And then, uh, if we can just try and put it like that. Yeah, that's good. Un. Right, we can just come in now. Breaking into a station from 15 miles an hour is pretty good. It's much better than from like a 30 or so. Let's take that off. Put the tail lights on. Thank you for completing this run. Let's see how you performed. Okay. So that's it. We finished. Oh, and I've just got a trophy. Don't know if that's shown up on the screen or not. But, uh, yeah, we got reduced to 97.5 AP for speeding. We got 9,406 AP, so that's definitely a platinum. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do comment down below what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are trying to hit 150 subscribers. Leave a like and I will see you all in the next video. But until then, see you all later.